Welcome! This video explains how teachers can use the Infinite Campus Messenger to send class messages, grades messages, or missing assignment messages to students and families. To begin, we will navigate to Communication on the main menu on the left panel of your Infinite Campus and select Message Center. Once you've navigated to the Message Center, you can always click on the star in the top left by Message Center to add it to your Favorites panel to make it quick and easy to find next time. To move forward, we will select the New button. Next, we will select the type of message we are sending. For example, the class message is something you can use to communicate general happenings in your classroom or things you want to notify families about. Next is the grades message, which can be used to send a message for posted or in-progress grades. And you can use any grade to communicate. For example, maybe you just want to let them know what grades they have in your class right now. Or maybe you want to let them know about the assignments that the students are failing. Next is the missing assignment message, which will communicate with families any assignments that you have marked as missing and you want to notify them to turn in. We will begin by talking about the class message. Now that we have selected the class message, we will now decide how we want them to receive our message. Inbox will make it post into the parent and student portal and email will allow them to receive an email. We recommend that you always select inbox and email. Inbox is selected by default, so we will make sure email is checked. The delivery date and time defaults to the current date and time, but you can change that to a later date and time as necessary. The reply to email address populates with your email address and the display name is blank. Populate those or edit those as necessary. Next, we move to the message details. In the message subject, it is recommended to include the teacher and or the course name in the subject line to best assist families with knowing what school and what teacher this message is referring to. While Infinite Campus allows for basic details in the message body, it is not recommended to copy and paste data and pictures into that area. However, if you have an attachment you want to add that has those extra details included, it is recommended to click on Add Email Attachment to add those details there while including a basic message in the message body. Type a general message in the message body. It is not recommended to copy and paste a lot of text or insert pictures. Users can use the F with the green box around it to customize the message to be more specific per student. An automatic do not reply does go at the very end of the message. However, you may want to include some type of signature identifying who should be contacted about any details of the message. If this message will be sent on some kind of a recurring frequency, you can select Save or Save As to save it as a template so that next time you can select the template and customize it each time you send it. You can select the test button to send a message to yourself prior to sending it to families if you'd like to see what it will look like. To continue, we will select the next button in the lower right corner. In step two of sending a class message, it defaults to selecting all recipients from sections. However, you can change it to specific recipients if you'd like to choose specific students. Select the grading period identifying the classes that will be receiving the message. Here, users can send a message to multiple classes at once. In this particular circumstance, we will only send it to our Honors Algebra class. This is where we will also identify who is receiving the message. If Messenger Contacts is selected, then Parents and Guardians will receive the message. If Students is selected, then Students will receive the message. You can check both boxes if you would like. Now that we have selected Messenger Contacts, we will select Next to continue. In Step 3 of sending a message, we are able to review the delivery summary as necessary. You can also click on Review Recipients to see who will receive the message and who will not receive the message. When we are ready to send, we will click the Send button. If you have selected a future date and time for the message to be sent, when you hit the Send button, it will not send immediately, but rather on the date and time you have selected. Teachers can navigate to Communication and Sent Message Log at any time to review messages sent and who received them. Now we will review the other two types of messages that can be sent, starting with the grades message. When sending a grades message, the message subject defaults to grades message, so it's important to customize it with the school and or class name so that parents know from which school, if they have multiple children that attend multiple schools, this is coming from and what class. Additionally, it does default with a message body template that can be customized. As you can see, we have customized the message subject and added additional details to the message body. Now that we've got the subject customized and the message body details in, we are ready to select the next button to continue. 
When sending a grades message, the screen is really important. It is important to select the term containing the assignments or posted grades. For elementary or middle school classes, it can be the current term. For high school classes, when running for in-progress grades, it has to be the term where assignments are stored. Usually it's going to be terms 3 or 6, with the exception of high school courses taught at the middle school level, which would be term 4. On this stage of sending a grades message, we will decide whether we are going to send a message about in-progress grades, which would be based on assignment scores entered, or posted grades. Next, we will click the arrow under the grading scale to select the grades being reported, and the arrow under grading tasks to select the appropriate task. If you don't see the appropriate grading tasks, such as quarter grades, semester, or other grading tasks, then review the previous step and make sure that you have selected your section under the appropriate term that contains that grading task. If you're going to be utilizing this messenger tool multiple times during the school year, it is very important to check allow repeat messages. This allows families to receive the message again who may have received the message before. Now we will identify if we only want parents or guardians to receive the message, which would be messenger contacts, or if we also would like students to receive the message. Now we will review the missing assignment message. In the missing assignment messenger, you will follow the same steps as the class or grades message, except for step two, where you select the assignments where the families should be notified when the assignment is marked missing. While you may have multiple assignments marked as missing, there may be only certain ones you would like to notify families when those assignments are marked missing. Again, as we discussed with the class message, users can go to Communications Sent Message Log at any time to review any of the messages sent with the Infinite Campus Messenger. Thank you. This concludes the video on teachers using the Messenger tool to send class messages, missing assignment messages, or grades messages. Have a great day.